Hey guys, so as you may be aware, we are currently fostering a dog named Lindy. We were told that she is feral. The vet referred to her as completely feral. And we got to wondering, what does that really mean? Like to me, feral means that a dog is part wild, but Lindy has been doing so well in foster care. I really have to wonder, Has she got any wild breeds in her or is she just being called feral because she hasn't been socialized to humans before this point in her life? So we became aware of a company called DNA My Dog. A couple of weeks ago, we did a cheek swab on Lindy and sent away for a DNA test on her. And we figure if the results came back with any percentage unknown, then we might have a reason to be a little bit worried. But if her DNA profile comes back with a 100% dog breed mix, I think I'll be way more optimistic about her chances of becoming socialized and being ready to be adopted into the right home. So DNA My Dog has five levels of DNA composition. A level one would be for when a dog has a majority of one specific breed. So that has to be 75% or more of their DNA and they're only gonna come back level one if they've got that really high percentage match to one single breed in their DNA. So that means most mixed breed dogs aren't going to come up with any breeds in this category, except maybe if one or both of their parents were purebred. Level two is for breeds that may be easily recognizable in your dog. And those level two breeds would make up between 37 and 74% of the DNA profile. So if a dog has a lot of mixed ancestry, they're normally not going to report at level two. So level three, four, and five would indicate breeds that appear less frequently in the profile and would be for dogs that have a lot of mixed ancestry. So I'll give you the percentages. Level three is between 20 and 36%. Level four is between 10 and 20%. Level five would be 9% and less of the DNA profile. So here is Lindy getting her cheek swab and she was a little champ during that process. We swabbed her cheeks to collect the sample, sent it off in the regular mail, and it actually took only about two weeks from start to finish before we got the results. So DNA My Dog has a feature where you can add a photo of your dog. I specifically opted not to because I didn't want to be thinking that the results might have been contaminated by the fact that I sent in a photo. So we sent in that cheek swab, that was all the information that we had, and here are the results. So Lindy actually got a level two on her DNA report. So that's the category for 37 to 74% of her DNA. And the breed in that category is Siberian Husky. She also reported level four, so 10 to 20% of her DNA, as German Shepherd, as well as Rottweiler. So those last two breeds, I couldn't really see in her, but the great news is there was no percentage of her profile that came back as unknown. So we are in the clear. Lindy doesn't have any wild dog. So the DNA My Dog test is about $70. It's all done through the mail and you get the report emailed to you. It was kind of fun to do. I would recommend it if anybody out there has a mixed breed dog and they're really curious about what breeds it might be. The test was really easy to administer. It didn't take long to be received by the company as well as tested. And I got my results back via email super quickly. I'm so motivated to know that Lindy does not have any wild breeds in her and really eager for the day where we can no longer say that she's a feral dog. It comes down to behavior and socialization. I know I have a great environment for her and two pack leader dogs that are gonna teach her the ropes and soon she is going to be the perfect dog for some lucky family.